Hello and welcome to a new Raggies Bears, Rides and Spirits review. I've got the camera on charge tonight, so it's a little bit different in it. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing Haverwood's Bitter Iron IPA. It looks very similar to a recent Marston's um, release. It's a 5.4% Brewer's Guide Malts my eyes. Pale, pale ale malt, light Munich, crystal 13.5, hops, Hercules it looks like, Admiral, wow my eyes, um, Cascade, Columbus, something nuke, food pairing, spicy Mexican fajitas, or tacos. Um, light and golden in colour with a citrus aroma and a bitter finish. 5.4% so not too bad. Looks on the internet reviews, no decent reviews. It's obviously that new that it's not getting any reviews. Obviously comes in a can so like a lot of these do these days. Always seems to be 330 mils in the can. Eh? They know how to get the money out of us. Although obviously these are from Lidl so they're quite a bit cheaper than your your big supermarkets which charge anything upwards of two pound a can mostly lovely citrus and floral aroma mm. light and golden in colour yes a lovely gold colour good head on it but that might be because also I'm using the Stella Seagrass with widgets and um, Lovely smell to it. <clears throat> oh, I've been at work all day uh, painting for my daughter. Come home, carrying on, move, uh, chopping a. Well, I've chopped the fence back, the edge back, and then I've, I've had to take the fence down and put the fence back up. But I've had to rebuild the fence because it, the dimensions of the garden has changed. And uh, then I've had to spray paint the fence. You know, it's a lot easier with spraying these days than that. This is about with a brush. Uh, it took me 10 minutes instead of 3 hours work, which, you know, I don't mind. So, I'm ready for a beer. Definite citrus, citrus taste. A few ops in there. Um, let me see what these reviews is. I'm on un untapped, but their reviews just aren't very... Uh, They show pictures of them drinking, but um, continuing my session through the little bears, bitter finish, but promised citrus. I'm not really getting it. I am getting citrus, uh, and uh, you know, for a cheap beer, so it's actually quite nice. Definitely getting citrusy and floral, um, a little bit of hops. A slight bitter aftertaste, I suppose. Other than that, you know, quite a nice beer. Gives you a bit of a tingly tongue. Got very light lacing in it. I don't know if you can see that through the glass. Yeah, very light lacing. Not like, if that was a Stella in there, it'd be frothing, you know, it'd be bubbling away. But um, yeah, very light. Still retaining the head, even though I've drank half of it. This ain't going to be a long review because this is this is going down a treat. Um, I was impressed with the orange ale that uh, Little brought out the other week, which again looked like a, a Marston's brand um, under their Haverwood uh, pseudonym. Oh yeah, very nice. I do like the fact that Lidl and Audi have, um, in a lot of ways, they've gone away from the normal uh, major brands. I mean, they have, they have they do stock some of the major brands, like five or ten of each, you know. But they've also got these brands that that 
they come under their uh, name, whether they're made for them, you know, a lot of beers are made by companies and then bottled under the little Audi or as the Sainsbury's Tesco's, you know, and as beer drinkers we can spot that. To me that looks like a Marston's can, it looks very similar to another Marston's brand um, that's been just been not long been released. Uh, colourful, you know, colourful tin, good artwork. And uh, I think the price was something daft like one pound twenty-five. So yeah, you know, it's one of them. You know, you see it, it's new. Get it. You know, you, you want to try these beers. Uh, I've got a little bit coming from the tax man. A uh, little bit of a rebate, so I've given the missus half. I'm having half, and I'm going to go out and stock up on quite a few new beers for review. And uh, that should be good. Good for me anyway. That's good for. Uh, she's still man, but uh, don't they all? So, it's actually a nice quality beer. A 5.4%, you can taste there's a strength in it. Um, lovely citrus taste. Can't really fault it. You know, it's pretty uh, a pretty damn decent beer. I mean, if I was going to fault anything, I'd say that the, the can's too small. But that's me just wanting more booze. Uh, I don't agree with five three thirties. I want five hundreds, but uh, I can understand there's a price thing and maybe a, a you know a alcohol uh, content thing where they have to put in smaller, you know, to appease certain things. I don't know. <laughs> so, out of five, I'm gonna give it quite a, a decent four point six. I think it is that good a beer. You know, it's very surprising. You know. I tasted the, the early Lidl's uh, Haverwoods brand and uh, I wasn't entirely um, happy with any of them, you know, when they first came out. But I'm going to buy them again this week probably, uh, get all the ones I haven't got so I can review them and, uh, you know, I need to start chalking up reviews. I want to get into the 200s if I can to please my wife no end but uh, yeah decent beer you know well worth a try well worth, well worth going in with a tenner getting yourself eight beers eight beers for a tenner I mean you can't fault it can you you can go down the pubs in Nottingham and two pints will cost you a tenner you know and there you're going to get nearly say six pints for a tenner so sometimes it's worth just drinking at home and having a, you know, a nice chill in front of the TV or something or with friends That was decent. Is it more decent because I've been I've been working all day and I'm absolutely sozzled, um, knackered rather, uh, not sozzled. You never know. You know sometimes do beers get better, do beers taste better because of the uh, what you've experienced in the day. You know if you've had a really bad day and you you, you come across a strong beer and you neck it. And uh, you think, wow, you know, that's fantastic. Would on another day it get a lower score when you're not so tired and that? These things, you know, all got to be, and it's why it's always worth doing a re review. You know, uh, say six or six months or a year later, giving that beer a quick re review. See if it's still as good as it was originally. Thanks for watching.